it's Miss Kay from TeacherBlogspot.com. I'm here today to tell you about how to use flashcards in a more effective way. Recently, I attended a parent-teacher conference with a classroom teacher, and I heard the parent express concern about her child not being able to learn her math facts. And so the classroom teacher started telling her about, we'll just practice with her at home with some flashcards, have her put all the ones she knows in a stack and have all the ones she doesn't know in a stack. And that works for memorization, but it really doesn't give children a way to learn patterns. And so because of that, um, I made these flashcards where you can print them off in color and you can have the backs printed and everything and it helps kids learn by pattern. Let me show you what I mean. So here I have the doubles flashcards and the doubles plus one. The doubles flashcards are printed off on blue cardstock and the doubles plus one are printed off on pink cardstock. And for one thing, colors really help kids remember things. If they can't remember anything else, sometimes you can memorize things just because it's a certain color. But aside from that, um, this will help kids learn patterns. So normally, um, doubles are easy for kids to learn. They just seem to stick in their head better. And so, really for kids to learn patterns, they just have to know their doubles. And a lot of times kids learn their doubles up to their fives because they're already on their fingers. Like they've got, there's five and five make 10. So everything up to five plus five is really easy for students to learn just because we're built with 10 digits. So um, if you look at the flashcards though, okay, so Let's see the student learns five plus five. Okay, I know five plus five is 10. So if I know five plus five is 10, well, it's easy to remember. Five plus six is just one more, that's 11. And do you remember when you were a kid? I do, when I was a kid, five plus six was really hard for me to learn. Um, another one that was really hard for me to learn as a kid was seven plus eight and eight plus nine. But seven plus seven was super easy for me to learn because there's 14 and it's a double. 14 and then seven plus eight is one more, there's 15. 8 plus 8 is 16, 8 plus 9 is one more, 17. So that makes it so much easier for students to learn and they are able to pick up on that pattern. Of course, I have 3 plus 3, three which is easy, and then 4 plus 3 is one more, making it 7. So um, if you give students a way to organize their learning like this, if you give them a pattern to study instead of, okay, we're going to learn all our twos today, um, then we're going to learn all our threes, then we're going to learn all our fours. It just makes it so much easier for kids if you study it that way. Doubles and then doubles plus one and then you learn another pattern. So now we have doubles, doubles plus one, and doubles plus two. And they're all in different colors to help kids learn patterns. So let's look what happens for the student who learns their doubles, doubles plus one and doubles plus two. So if they know their doubles, 5 plus 5, then all of a sudden 5 plus 7 becomes so easy because, okay, I know 5 plus 5 is 10, 5 plus 7 is just two more, 10, 11, 12. Or they may say, you know what, I've learned my 5 plus 5 and my 5 plus 6, and so I know that 5 plus 7 is just one more than my 5 plus 6. So they can learn it in a variety of ways, and 7 plus 9 is another one that was difficult for me as a child and probably for kids now today. So. You learn seven plus seven, that one's easy because it's a double, 14. Seven plus eight, 15. And another one, seven plus nine is 16. So they could either count up seven plus seven, seven plus eight is one more, and seven plus nine is 16 because it's two more than 14, two more than the double. Now if we look here, this one's a little easier. Three plus three is six, of course. Four plus three is seven. And we have five plus three and that's eight. Or if they know three plus three is six, then all of a sudden it's so easy, two more makes eight. So I hope this helps you teach your students using patterns instead of memorization. Okay, well that's enough for now. I will see you later. Bye from Miss K at teacherblogspot.com.